Are you taking practice test 5165, Statistics and Probability, and are you looking for practice problems to help you prepare for the test? If so, then this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Tom, and I am a test prep expert here at Study.com and a certified math teacher, and I'm going to walk you through some of the types of problems you may see on the test. So let's get started. Jonathan has nine songs downloaded on his computer. How many ways can he choose five songs to play if the order in which the songs are played does not matter? All right, so what we want to look for is the difference between a permutation and a combination. So in this case here, it says that the order in which the songs play does not matter. So that means that we are going to use the combination formula, and the formula for combinations would be n choose r, which is equal to n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. And in this case here, n is the number of songs we downloaded, so n is equal to 9. And our r, what we want to choose is we want to choose 5 songs. So we would get 9 factorial divided by 5 factorial and then n minus r factorial would be 9 minus 5 or 4 factorial. Now you're going to have access to the online graphing calculator where you're going to be able to make this calculation. And the answer here would be the number of combinations would be equal to 126. X is a binomially distributed random variable where the parameters are n equals 76 and p equals 0.46. What is the expected value of X? Okay, in a binomial distribution, the expected value formula E is equal to n times p. Now, n represents the number of trials. Okay, so my n equals number of trials and my p represents probability of single trial. So again, we're going to have access to the online graphing calculator. So to get our expected value, we take our n, which is 76, we multiply it by p, the probability of a single trial, so times 0.46, and if we do that correctly, we'll get 34.96 as our answer. The number of hours an employee works per day is plotted against the number of mistakes he commits. The correlation coefficient of the scatter plot is 0.92. What can be concluded from this value? All right, so when we look at correlation coefficient, what we're looking for is, is it positive or negative? So in this case here, 0.92 is positive. So that means that we can eliminate any of the choices that talk about negative correlations. Now. How strong or weak is this correlation? Well, what we're looking for is how close this value is to one. So at one, it's the strongest it can be. So in this case here, 0.92 is very close to one. So that means that it's not a weak correlation, but it's actually a strong positive correlation. Use the table below to answer the questions that follow. What is the range of the heights of the boys? Is it 6 centimeters, 12 centimeters, 10 centimeters, or 8 centimeters? All right, so in statistics, the range is equal to the high value minus the low value in your data. So what we need to do is we need to go to the table, and we need to find the highest value in the data. So if we look here, we can see the highest value the biggest height is 80 centimeters, and then we want to get the lowest value. The lowest value in the list would be 70 centimeters. So we're just taking our high minus our low, which is going to come out in this case here equal to 10 centimeters. That concludes our video, Praxis Test 5165, Statistics and Probability. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to visit study.com for more resources, including more practice videos and personalized study plans. Thanks for watching.